history, isn't it? You know, I didn't get a chance to get to too many games this year. My schedule didn't allow it, but I did, I did get to the last game. And what a game to go to. I do have a proclamation I'd like to read tonight honoring the Comets. Then I'd like to present that to a very special person. Whereas for over 50 years, hockey has brought many new families, fans, and businesses to the city of Fort Wayne. And whereas the Fort Wayne Comets have driven the status of Fort Wayne's reputation as a great minor league town. And whereas some 10,480 fans witnessed and cheered on the Comets to take their second straight Turner Cup, 4-1 to one, over Muskegon. And whereas this was the first time in their 57-year history that the Comets successfully defended a postseason championship, now therefore I, Thomas Henry, Mayor of the City of Fort Wayne, do hereby proclaim May 12, 2009 as Comet Hockey Game Day in the City of Fort Wayne. And I encourage all of our residents and citizens to join me in recognizing their hard work. Before, before I give this proclamation, I would like to ask Council Member Thomas Didier to come up and sing the national anthem in honor of today. Councilman. There's the flag. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glow the bombs bursting in air gave root through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Yet away, or the land of the free and the hope of the I thought that was only fitting since Tom gave us his time at almost every game to sing that. This time I'd like to present the proclamation that I just read to you to Coach Al Simpson. Well, I want to thank the, uh, the mayor and the county um, for honoring us and giving us our own day. It only took us 57 years to get here. But uh, it, uh, last year uh, was my you know, first year coming back and to win a championship was obviously very special. And I uh, didn't think we could top it, but uh, this group behind me obviously had different ideas and uh, you know, took... Uh, uh, my thoughts and ideas to great heights and uh, to win back-to-back -back championships is truly 
uh, a credit to them and uh, you know their dedication and their hard work and uh, you know it results in these type of things and I'm very thankful like I said to the city of Fort Wayne and obviously the greatest hockey fans in minor league hockey yeah. you guys and all I can say is I don't know what next year holds but uh, I've heard three Pete and uh, four Pete, etc. But uh, uh, three Pete would be great by me. So thanks, uh, fans. Uh, thank you, Mayor and uh, County Commission. And uh, we're very pleased and honored uh, to have this day. At this time, I'd like to ask County Commissioner Bill Brown to come to the podium. Bill. Once again, as the mayor mentioned, uh, this is a great day. You know, <laughs> last year, uh, unfortunately, there was a little absence, as I think the team uh, duly picked up upon. But frankly, this year, I was wondering if maybe we just should not do it at all. Because I think we do want a three-peat out of these guys, right? Yeah. All righty, all kidding aside, Everybody knows Fort Wayne and Allen County is a hockey town and a hockey county. Anybody that knows a hockey family and the way they travel all over the Midwest to play this fabulous game that we've been we, these folks have made us so famous for knows that uh, they, they deserve uh, this day to be a special day. That's why I'm going to proclaim for the Board of Allen County Board of Commissioners that whereas the Fort Wayne Common Hockey Club won the 2009 International Hockey Team Turner Cup on Friday, May 8th, it was a great game. I was there. Whereas, this marks the first time the Comets, in the Comets' 57-year history that the team has won back-to-back -back championships. Whereas, by defeating the Kalamazoo Wings in the semifinal playoff of the Muskegon Lumberjacks in the Turner Cup Finals, the Comets earned their sixth international hockey league championship and seventh league title overall. What an incredible team. Whereas, by defeating the Kalamazoo Wings, whoops, whereas the Comets overcame several challenges during the 2008-2009 campaign to win the Huber Trophy, as regular season champs and qualify for their 49th postseason appearance since the franchise began in 1952. And throughout the year, the dedication of the team has been matched by their fans, who upset a new Fort Wayne regular season home average attendance record of 7,810 fans. That is incredible. Good job. And often travel long distances to attend away games. And whereas the Allen County War Memorial Coliseum honored to be the home of the Comets and proud that the Turner Cup is being hoisted for Fort Wayne once again. And I do see it is intact this year, which is good. A little more super glue. Now, therefore, the Board of Commissioners of the County of Allen, Indiana, hereby proclaims May 12, 2008, Comet Hockey Day in Allen County and encourages all residents to congratulate the Comets for their outstanding success and for the honor and distinction they have brought to themselves and our community. This proclamation signed by the, signed by the Board of Commissioners of the County of Allen, May 12, 2009. Well, speaking of a three-peat, Allen County does have three commissioners, and one, uh, Linda Blum couldn't be here today, but Nelson Peters, uh, I'd like to introduce Nelson Peters to come up and say a few words.